With Londoners facing austere times, it's community projects which are often left facing cutbacks. So a team from South London have created a new way to raise cash using crowdfunding. Well, it's believed to be the first project of its kind anywhere in the world. Warren Nettleford reports now from Islington. I'm going to chase Jackson! It's playtime at Hanover Primary. At the moment, break time is spent on the school roof. It's just there's not much around here and it's a bit bare. We've never actually had like a proper playground that's going to have like loads of new equipment in it and stuff. It would be really cool if we had a really good playground. Below, they've got the space for a new adventure playground, but they haven't got all the money they need. And so they've turned to crowdfunding to bridge the gap. And here's how it works. Anyone can offer to donate money online, but the funds only leave your account once the target has been reached. Grants and donations have got them to £52,000, 11000 more, and they'll reach their target. We felt that it was a useful tool uh, to use, along with lots of other fundraising kind of techniques that we're using. And we are kind of living in a time where schools are having to be increasingly proactive in how they raise money for projects like this. Crowdfunders usually expect a return on their investments, putting their faith in the next big invention, for example. But this London social enterprise don't look to make a profit, instead only focusing on civic projects. Well, we're trying to open up public space um, to boost sources of innovation, to boost sources of ideas, to make it as easy as possible for communities to get stuff done uh, in their local area. Um, we think that there's a real opportunity to do that now, particularly because of the economic situation. Some experts, though, have reservations about such schemes being able to fill the spending gap during the downturn. Um, it's great that there are volunteers locally that want to do something for play, but, but children also need a professional play workforce and, and play settings where they can go and play. It's still early days, but in London at least, there are more crowdfunded civic projects in the pipeline. Warren Nettleford, BBC London News.